Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix a uh, PS5 error code uh, CE-10255-1. Uh, right, so without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do here, you need to delete that particular game uh, where you're getting the error. And then uh, once you delete that, you need to turn off your console, right? Uh, just turn off your console and wait until uh, basically the lights stops blinking, right? Uh, we need to wait for a couple of seconds and then I will show you what you need to do uh, next. In the meantime, you can, uh, co you need to connect your uh, uh, basically controller with the wire, with the cable, and then on your console, you need to press and hold power button for uh, until you hear two beeps. So the one, and then uh, you should hear second one. Second one, then you can release the power button. And then I will show you what you need to do here next. Uh, we will enter safe mode and on safe mode, press PlayStation button. And then what you need to do here is to uh, go to number six, clear cache and rebuild database, uh, clear cache and rebuild database here. It, it could take uh, around five minutes. And after that, restart your PS5, right? And after restart your PS5, uh, what you need to do here next, uh, once you restart your PS5, uh, you need to reinstall that particular game that you just deleted, right? So we need to wait for a couple of seconds until uh, PlayStation will turn on. Uh, again, PlayStation button, uh, reinstall the game and then try to enter that game. If it's not working, then go to settings, then go to users and accounts, uh, go to other and then restore licenses, right? And uh, after that, again, you need to wait for a couple of minutes here and look if the problem persists or not, right? Uh, if the problem persists, another thing that you can do here is to go to uh, system. On system, you need to go to uh, system software and go to backup and restore and backup your uh, PS5 files with a USB hard drive if, if you want to if you have a possibility to, to that. And then what you need to do here is to reset options and reset your console. So this will delete all your settings and all your games. And after that, you can back up again, but it should fix your problem. So yeah, that's pretty much it.